Politics to me is the representation of those who cannot voice their own opinions. One of my greatest concerns with British politics is the amount of people who do not take an interest in politics and believe it doesn't matter. I have learnt that the political naivety among those who will soon be given suffrage is rife and must be addressed. Politics needs to be made compulsory for at least one year in schools in order for young people to be made more politically aware. It needs to be made more accessible and school would be a perfect starting place to implement this. I would like to see more public awareness of political issues as I personally would like to get more involved. Homelessness is a terrible thing that's really quite hard to be changed. I would make double-decker buses. Homeless people would come on the buses and there would be nurses that would be on there and, and people to talk through the problems that uh, they have had. I think the political system allows representation of the voters and means that a majority of people's views are represented in the House of Commons and other meetings and committees. I do, however, find it negative to democracy that in many cases constituencies are represented by someone who only a minority vote for, normally leaving 60% plus unrepresented. The political system creates a divide between the electorate and the elected, whilst dissatisfaction on the parts of MPs in the eyes of the constituents appears to be increasing. There is a total lack of trust in MPs. How can a government, which consists of 20 or so millionaires, understand and represent the concerns of ordinary working families? I believe that the role of the backbench MPs in Parliament should be enhanced to allow the voice of the people to shine through a little better than is currently allowed. I am a supporter of devolution of powers to cities in the form of mayors, which from London's example has had a positive effect, such as transport and development within London. What I would do about unemployment. The first thing I would do is make the retiring age lower, so every time somebody retires new spaces are provided for the younger generation of job seekers. An interesting fact about unemployment is that most people who are retired um, do not claim their benefits. If there were more pe jobs that people could do, there'd be more money so that there'd be less poverty. Another issue that needs to be tackled is the lack of ethnic and gender variation in Parliament, in particular women. There is a significantly lower number of female MPs compared to males. This is an important issue that needs to be solved. However, I do not feel women-only shortlists are the way to balance the number. I would like to see other suggestions from the government. So many top lawyers, journalists and politicians attended private schools. I want to know how we would erase the gap between state and private schools. I am critical of the government's policy of allowing universities to charge up to £9,000, which I believe is too high and believe a lower cap of £6,000 would have been much more fair. I really worry for the future of myself and others regarding education, employment and health, as well as the prospects for the area of Dudley South where I come from. I wish to change this country for the better, while I'm still young or growing old. Politics is a subject on which there is always something to say. Mm -hmm.